Hey folks, Rob here, and uh, we have another red dot. And if y'all have watched my past videos, you know I, uh, Rory sent me a uh, rifle scope to test out, and it actually turned out to be a really, a really nice scope, uh, especially for the uh, the discounted price they gave for my subscribers. So uh, I think Boomstick might have picked one up. So we'll see what he thinks about his. But they. Uh, Asked me if I would take a look at their uh, Red Dot here. And uh, they're a relatively new company, so uh, they're trying to establish themselves. But this is the Aurori uh, Red Dot site. It is a 2 MOA. Let's uh, get it up here a little closer where we can read the box. 2 uh, MO Red Dot, MOA Red Dot, 11 brightness setting, motion activated illumination system, uh, pick rail mount with high and low base. So it comes with both. Uh, there's your dot, magnification, eye relief. Takes a CR2032 battery. There's your weight, 1.61 grams. Uh, IP6X rated, waterproof IPX7. Dimensions, uh, 73 by 43. Windage, half MOA per click. And that is the number right there, Aurora Red Dot Sight. So let's open this up and look at it. This is kind of a unique box because it opens from the side and over top and it comes well padded. You have your manual right here and this is uh, basically just a small manual telling you about what all is included in the box. Congratulations. Elevation adjustment, multi-coated lens. Just uh, tells you a little bit about it there. Uh, mounting, how to mount it. Comes with your low and high mounts. Comes with a little, uh, looks like a little tool there to work on it. Um, turn the knob. Okay, there's about the MOTAC, motion activated illumination. Uh, since motion in five minutes, it'll turn off. Brightnesses uh, are for night. One and two, the one and two brightness settings are for night vision. Modes 3 through 11 are for daytime. So, anyway, that's, uh, so it has night vision mode. And it comes with two batteries, one in it already installed. And they're just parallax, 2 MOA red dot. Let's get that and look at it. So, you have your lens cleaning cloth. And then you have your mount itself. Let's see what's over here. There's a little uh, key to uh, install it with. Looks like a hex head. A battery and your low mount. So, and that's all that's in the box. Okay, let's take a look at the red dot. So, it comes in a plastic bag. Well, they put it in there, well. And it said in the manual all one was already installed. So it has the the knob to adjust your brightness settings. So you have, according to this, one and two are for night vision. Let's take the lens caps off. It has nice, slim, lightweight lens caps. Very thin. And let's see if we can see the red dot. Am I looking through it from the right way? Yeah. I always... Uh, Let's see, it said one and two are for night vision, so I'm not sure if you can see the night vision mode. Let's, uh, let's get her a little better focus there. I'm not holding it the right one. Let me find the dot. Uh, there it is. I can never find the dots in these things. Is that it? No. It's turned up a little bit. There it is. There it is. Let's put it on a white background. Let's put it on a dark background. <laughs> some, th some things like a light background, some like a dark. All right, there's our dot. So that's at the 5 setting. Now, you probably can't see that real well, but when I hold it up to the daylight, 
I can see that through the window really well. So that's, that is a small dot. What you're seeing there is no indicator of how small that dot is. And it looks like it's like perfectly round. Let's get you a better look here. We can get this thing to focus. There we go. And that is, that's the 11th setting. So, it looks to be well made. It's got your high mount here. I like the way this is cupped in. Your emitter is on the side and it does protrude into the window just a little. You kind of have semi-protected uh, caps here. And this does have uh, Motec or Shake Awake as they call it. The caps are aluminum. And there is your adjustment, your adjuster. It is knurled, and you have your adjustment tool built into the cap. So, it has audible and very tactile adjustments. A lot of these things are mushy. You don't get much. You don't get much uh, feedback. So. And it just looks like a nice little unit. And this uh, front lens, the coating on that is like, it looks like a ruby on it. It's like really, if you, you have to see it in person, it's kind of got a reddish hue. And it's just a very nicely coated lens. So we're going to be mounting this up on something eventually and uh, using it a little bit. So we got more right now. Uh, then we got guns to put them on, but we're going to get around to all of these as the summer progresses. Uh, the fit and finish on it is really nice. It's the uh, anodization. It is all aluminum. Uh, it's lightweight and it's small. It's a, a small unit. It's not overly large. Uh, and there's the Aurora logo. And uh, actually doesn't look too bad there on the side. Anyway, guys. This is a look at the Aurori, and did it say what model this was? Red dot. I don't get it. It's a HD21, so the Aurori HD21. So I will leave a link to this, and uh, if y'all want to check it out on Amazon, uh, feel free. I'll leave you a link to where you can go check it out and see if it's something of interest to you. Um uh, to remove your base you have your tool here which will reach through that's pretty neat it comes with its own little little tool there to do this with but you have your little tool that reaches through and you use that to remove your high base to put on your low Kind of a neat little inclusion. That turns it pretty easy. So, yeah. Nice little thing to get with it. Anyway, guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, we'll see you guys later.